bumpy start, right? Do you give him some grace here? Well, of course, and I, more importantly, the American people will, I think, you know, I think everyone in your audience will understand and appreciate that every great mission in life involves some speed bumps. And there's no greater mission in politics right now than reclaiming and restoring our country. There's always going to be online trolls who will just obsess over the optics. And those folks, it's a very small number. They're probably not going to come around to DeSantis' side anyway. But I think for the masses, for the millions of American citizens who believe overwhelmingly that our country is headed in the wrong direction, both our culture as well as our economy. What they got to hear uh, once the glitches were solved and once that program kicked off, millions of them actually got to participate in uh, a very substantive conversation with an American leader, the most popular governor in America, who has the discipline and the focus to not only win the general election, but then to also implement a conservative policy agenda once he wins. And that's what Republican voters are looking for now. Glitches aside, Steve, though, was Twitter and Twitter spaces the right place to make this announcement? You know, listen, I think it was the right move to try to go around traditional legacy media. Ron DeSantis, I think, both as governor of Florida and now as an officially entered presidential candidate, believes that the legacy media should not be treated with too much deference or respect because the legacy media has largely lied to the American people and pretended to be objective, pretended to do journalism and storytelling, when instead they're engaged in activism almost always from the far left, from the radical uh, extent of American society and media. So I think it was a smart move to try to go around the media. Again, there were some technical glitches, but in part, you know, to some extent, these are sort of first world problems. In part, the glitches, which are not Ron DeSantis' fault, of course, they're the fault of Twitter, but the glitches resulted from an overwhelming demand, uh, from an outpouring of people who wanted to participate here. So I, I, ex I expect fully that whatever speed bumps Ron DeSantis encountered early on, in the totality of this race, which of course is a marathon and not a sprint, once the American people, once Republican voters are fully aware and apprised of his story, both his inspiring personal biography as well as what he has done as governor and intends to do as president of the United States, it's going to be a really compelling vision, a vision of winning, not losing, which Republicans have become too accustomed to in recent election cycles, and it's going to ultimately win the day in these early states. Well, and to your point about the media and that some may believe it has treated Ron DeSantis unfairly. He's going to have to face the music, right? I mean, the media is going to be at every single step of this campaign. Is he ready for that? Is he Teflon to deal with it? Yes, certainly. Listen, notice, by the way, and this is, I think, fascinating and very revealing, Ron DeSantis is being attacked by almost all sides. You know, for example, Morning Joe from the very left side of the corporate media landscape was pretty vicious to Ron DeSantis this morning. Disney. Uh, but then who else? Donald Trump, Nikki Haley, the other Republican candidates. As a matter of fact, the entire Republican field, Trump on down, is coming after not Trump, who is clearly the front runner right now, but instead coming after Ron DeSantis. Why? Yeah, but I think Steve, because Steve, all of those if you're folks, running for president, I mean, right? That's just that's just how it goes, right? I mean, you can't cry. No, no, you can't they, cry they, about the criticism. I'm not crying about it at all. I'm saying, in fact, it, what it verifies is that all of them know, all of them realize that Ron DeSantis is the most potent force in this race, that he is the leader who can win the Republican nomination and then win the general election and then you know, almost as importantly of all, and then institute and implement a conservative agenda. And I'm not saying it's unfair, but it's very unusual. In a normal race, most of the other candidates, for example, would be going after the front runner, not the guy who is in second place right now. It's very telling, I think, and revealing again that all these powerful interests from the NAACP to Disney to the ACLU to Donald Trump, all of them are attacking in unison Ron DeSantis. Why? Because I think they realize that this leader presents the most compelling case to resurrect this country, to restore the prerogatives and the prosperity of the regular citizens of America, not the ruling class. And so, uh, no, I take it as a compliment for, for Ron DeSantis, in fact, that he is taking that kind of fire from all sides. Right. It's that mentality. If they're talking about you, it's a good thing, right? You're in the headlines. Substance right. versus style, though. Does he have both to win? Yes, listen, and here's why I say that, because he did it in Florida, Marty. If we look at his record, in 2018, he barely won, and Florida at that time was still considered to be really the quintessential swing state in America. 
In only four years, though, through really conservative governance, through policy wins, through creating a vibrant economy, through staying open with science and reason during lockdowns in other states, through protecting children from cultural toxic garbage, he created Florida as a beacon for all of America. And people voted first with their feet in terms of moving to the state of Florida. And then the citizens of Florida voted literally at the ballot box overwhelmingly by electing him by a landslide of almost 20 percent. So thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.